I am the true alpha male, the living legend of hair loss, and I am so in story mode. All right, I guess this is the last one that I can throw these sticky notes away from a couple months ago when I was still trying to get to 100 episodes on my failed series, Self-Help Hacker. I only made it, I think, to 73 before I realized, you know what, this isn't worth my time anymore. People need hair loss in the title. They need me to talk about hair loss. Otherwise, they're not gonna click on the video. And I wasted my time making the video. So now, fine. I'll make the last couple episodes, put hair loss in there. I'll make it about the thing you're obsessed with, which is your perception that people judge you and your looks and therefore that your hair is part of your value, even though it's not. So let's go ahead and get to work. Gossip by association. That's the last one on my list. And then I'm gonna throw these blue sticky notes away. Gossip by association. So imagine this. I've made a video talking about how to be bored, I said, boys are bored men are monetizing based on their skill set. So if you haven't checked it out, I want you to. But one of the signs of being bored and not really knowing who you are and not having a masculine identity is gossip. Now I understand typically we associate gossip more with females. That's the stereotype. But I would challenge you to say, perhaps you might be a little bit more involved in gossip than you realize. Anytime you're talking about another person, a third person who's not in the room and it's not in a positive way, that's gossip ultimately. But specifically, there's even gossip by association and you have to be weary of it. So as your elder of 20 years, I'm warning you of this now so you can be aware of it. And this also is like a follow-up to the board video a minute ago, talking about how what a sin it is to be bored when you should be making money off of your skill sets and catering to other people's boredom. So imagine this, other people don't have their identity figured out. They're bored. So they're talking, they're complaining about other people and other things they can't control. A real man is gonna focus on what he can control, not what he can't. But whether it's a female or whether it's a man, comes to you complaining about another person. Now granted, you can do the right man thing and give them some mature advice on what they can maybe do differently to help that situation. But if they're coming to you gossiping, they're probably too immature to handle that. So ultimately, what they're gonna do is, they're wanting sympathy from you. They're wanting you to agree that they're not crazy, that the way that they feel, that the way they're being treated, you know, they, they want someone to say, man, what they're doing to you is so wrong. You, you deserve better than to be treated that way. See, but when you say that to them, you're agreeing with them, gossip by association. So you're ultimately saying, yes, what Joan or Joe did to you or said to you, they're wrong for that. Now see, what they can do is they can take that back to Joe or Joan, whoever the person is, and say, well, yeah, well, even Scott agreed. See, now you've been brought into this situation. That's not what you want. So ultimately, accept this. Accept, A-C-C-E-P-T, not the other kind of accept. Accept the fact that people are starving for sympathy. And I've made a video before, actually on the same sticky note down. Yeah, the need for sympathy makes you weak. It's actually listed right next to that one. So imagine, we've already studied that. If you haven't seen that video, check it out on my channel. The need for sympathy makes you weak. If you're a man and you want sympathy, which I'm not here to give you, especially about hair loss, I'm not here to sympathize. Hang in there, buddy, it'll be okay. Nope, nope, go, go to Max De Silva. Go to his Facebook page or his YouTube channel. He'll give you all the sympathy. He will totally let you take 100 pictures of yourself and post them on his page so that all these other guys watching that are obsessed with their own insecurity can cheer you on. If that's, if that's what you need, go for it. But remember, I'm your internet dad. I'm here to help you become a man and start thinking like a man, not a boy. So this whole concept of, I need sympathy, no you don't. Freaking get over yourself, dude. People care about you, they don't care about your looks. So start focusing on other people. But not to the point that you are catering to their gossip mentality. So, again, someone comes to you and says, here's what this person said to me and did to me, whatever. So, I don't know what to do about it. So often they'll even say, I need help. So the thing you do is you help give them advice to figure out a way to solve it themselves. But if they will not accept that, and they still want sympathy, usually they're just trying to get you to agree with them that they're being mistreated so they can use your name and take it to the other person. And now you've become a gossip without ever wanting to gossip. So that's my 
words of advice to you. You gotta watch out for that because people are quick to do that. Actually, if, uh, I will go ahead and remind you of this. A couple of months ago, and this, this happened recently in my own life, maybe even being aware of it. So I've already mentioned this before, but if you haven't seen the video, my wife and I, we live in the Nashville, Tennessee area. We, we went out for, for breakfast one day at a restaurant and the guy serving, he had some issues going on. He was like a Saturday Night Live character. He was just really rude for no reason. But, you know, I said, hey, I like that omelet. And he's like, and I said, I'll, I'll take it with, with the fruit. And he's like, well, it normally comes with fries. And I said, well, the, the menu says fries or fruit. I'll take the fruit. Well, just so you know, it normally comes with fries. That's cool. I'll, I'll take the fruit. It was weird and rude or whatever, but it doesn't bother me. I'm a man. I don't let that bother me. I'm, Master of puppets pulling my strings. No, no other masters pulling my strings. I'm, I'm in control of my own emotion. So yes, he was rude and I got out that maybe he's having a bad day. Next in line, a very older couple, upper 80s actually. And I know that because they told me. But as the lady sat down and she ordered it, because we were like sitting at the bar counter at this breakfast place. And she said, can you believe that guy? He's so rude, isn't he? He was so rude to us, you know, and you know, we, my wife and I felt bad because she's so much older than us. And so my wife, giving her some sympathy, said, you know, we, we did notice that. I guess he's, he's having a bad day, it sounds like, something like that. So then I thought, oh, no, I feel it coming. 20 seconds later, the, the lady who's, you know, 80 or whatever, she says to, to the barista guy over here, excuse me, excuse me. The person at the cashier, he was really rude to us, to which the guy making coffee says, oh, that guy, Seth? Well, he's usually not rude. And he was defending one of his employees, which he shouldn't have. He said, ma'am, I'm so sorry. I, I'm, I, let me make it up to you, whatever. But he didn't. He tried to, de to ex you know, defend his employee or whatever. But then it happened. The lady, the, 80, the lady in her 80s said, well, even this couple noticed it, too. They agree with me. And at that point, I'm like, okay, I'm I'd already eaten at that point, so I went ahead and kind of tugged on my wife's sleeve and said, let's get out of here. This isn't going to get any better. And I just went ahead and left because for me, I do not need to be in the middle of a confrontation. I actually say, see, a lot of people have a false concept of being alpha male, that you're actually confrontational. The opposite is true. It's that you avoid a confrontation if you don't really have to. A lot of confrontations do need to happen, but most of them don't. There's no reason to try to prove somebody wrong or get somebody in trouble if you don't have to. Ultimately, the free market's going to determine whether that restaurant goes out of business. If Seth keeps being rude to people, the restaurant will go out of business. If the manager doesn't step in and train his employee on having a bad day yet still being nice to people, if that doesn't get sorted out, the free market will collapse that restaurant. And that's not my problem. That's the manager and Seth's job. So there's no reason for me to go ahead and agree that this guy is, I think this guy's getting paid minimum wage to take orders at a breakfast restaurant. Do you think I'm gonna get caught up in that? But see the lady in her 80s, well beyond retired, bored. So that's why I say it is a sin to be bored. If you haven't watched my other video talking about it, boys are bored. Men are money makers. Men are finding a way to make money off of other people's boredom, ultimately by knowing what they're already bad at and good at so they can build on their skill set so that they can become money makers off of that. Men are not, a true alpha male is not focused on his hair, on his looks. He's focused on getting out of the way of gossip and instead making his communication count. He is focused on building people. Gossip tears people down. A true alpha male is gonna be building people up by his words especially when the other person's not around. He's gonna be able to talk about people behind their back in a good way. And that's something I've made a habit of over the years. I'll be talking, you know, we'll be having a conversation about somebody and I will make a point to compliment that person, the third person that's not in the room. I'll say, you know something he's always good at? Man, he's good at this. This is not always appreciated by him. Now I'm secretly hoping that that person is gonna go back and say, hey, you know what, Nick, Nick and I were talking about you, and here's what Nick said, I just want you to know this. Now, I hope that happens, but also the next time I see that person, as kind of a joke, in a way that I build that person up, I said, hey, Matt, I, uh, man, I was talking about you behind your back the other day. And then I paused, and I'm like, what? And I said, like, yeah, I was telling Eric over there that anytime I ever have a question about whatever, 
this is the guy you want to go to. Matt always knows the answer. And of course, instantly, Matt feels great because I'm like, wow, he was talking about me behind my back in a good way. I wasn't expecting a compliment right now, but I just got one. So it's amazing how you can, there's bad gossip, there's gossip about association, it's all negative, but you can do the same thing with positive gossip and ultimately positively building up the identity of others because you yourself are already confident to begin with. Your comments are right here.